Welcome to my channel, Suzanne's Sweet Kitchen. Today we're going to be making this super groovy tie-dye cake. If you'd like to know how I made it and how you can make it too, just keep watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with our cake. I made a three layer, eight inch white cake. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And you will see either before or after this part uh, that I made the inside, the filling rainbow. So cute. I have filled and crumb coated and final coated this cake. Okay, let's go ahead and apply our sprinkles. I love these sprinkles. They're so cute. These jimmies. Apply a little bit of buttercream on your cake stand so your cake doesn't move around on you. Okay, you guys, the moment has come. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about this cake. I has scheduled today to be a video day. I made my cake layers yesterday and how I always do it the, the day or two or a week before, let them cool, wrap them each individually with plastic wrap, put them in the freezer. And this morning I'm like, okay, you need to make a video. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And I, with, with my coffee sitting down this morning, um, looked at YouTube and then looked at TikTok and someone was making a tie-dye shirt. So uh, this cake is a tie-dye shirt inspired cake. And then you go through the nether thought process. Okay, what colors do I want to use? Do I want to use primary colors? Do I want to use pastel colors? Do I want to do neon? Do I want to do more earthy tones? Go through all those thoughts in your head and then you're like, okay, you can't just have a decoration on the top. You need something for a border. Do I want to use the same colors for the border or do I want to find sprinkles to inspire the colors? <laughs> so you guys know my whole thought process this morning. So tie-dye was the inspiration. The colors were inspired by the sprinkles I found in my baking closet, you guys. At the end of this video, you will know all the different colors I'm using. They're all Americolor, and you probably, if you watch any amount of my videos, you know exactly what I'm using. So um, I don't veer away very often. So let's go ahead and um, I'm using couplers today. If you don't know how to use couplers, I will link a video down in my description box below that goes over how to use a coupler. Basically, it's just something you put in your decorator's bag that will allow you to switch out your decorator's tip. Enough jibber jabber, let's go ahead and decorate. I think I'm just prolonging it because I don't know. <laughs> let's go, let's go ahead. Oh, okay, camera's all on, yep we are. Just gonna go in about an inch and just squeeze have my tip go and release and we're gonna go around the whole cake like this and I want some to go off the edge and I do want some of this white to show through not a lot You don't want to wipe off your tip every once in a while. It gets kind of gunky. Is gunky a real word? <laughs> I remember my mom saying it. My mom said a lot of things that weren't real words. So <laughs> I don't know, gunky. <laughs> I'll have to look that one up or ask Siri. There's our first layer. Let's move on to green.
I love it. What do you guys think? Oh my goodness, I think our tie-dye slash flower cake <laughs> turned out really cute. I didn't know what to do in the middle, so I just made a little stymon, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm still calling it the tie-dye cake, though. I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but that light, I've been doing some painting and uh, changed out the light, so for a while, um, you could see that I didn't, um, my, all my wall wasn't done. I didn't have above the baseboards painted. <laughs> and then after that, I had a hole in the wall <laughs> where the light was. Uh, thank you to my sons, Gavin and Grant, for helping me. I, I'm just getting started with the house renovations. Hopefully pretty soon, I will be um, taping my videos a different direction. So this won't be your backdrop anymore. So I don't know how long that will be, probably a couple months. <laughs> But just let you guys know. Reminder, I'm a home baker, no training. If I can make this cake, you guys can make it too. It's probably nothing you'll ever see in a bakery. <laughs> There's probably a good reason for it. I really like it though, so <laughs> it's very different. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really does mean the world to me. If you're new to my channel and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It's quick and it's easy and just a click. And while you're down there subscribing, go ahead and hit that bell. It will just remind you when I upload new videos, which is on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you like this super cool cake, please give me a big old thumbs up. It really does help. I'm having an amazing day. I hope you are as well. Until next time, make it a great day. The colors I'm using on this tie-dye rainbow cake is Americolor Regal Purple, Leaf Green, Soft Pink, Orange, Lemon Yellow, and the sprinkles I'm using is from Walmart.